Look over there. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jeff, the Master Barber. Again, live tutorial, step by step. Now that bubblegum stuff. Now that 15 minutes uh, quick showing you stuff that is not even completely how to show you step by step. So if you definitely like the live streaming and you appreciate good material, with a good content, make sure to smash that like. We're gonna be using the Mythic, all right, to remote to remove bulk. What we're gonna do right here, we're gonna definitely we're gonna remove. We're gonna start with a three, two. He wants a mid fade, and we're gonna do the mid fade. We're gonna lift the top, and we're gonna shape the beer, all right. So here we go. To remove bulk, like I said, I'm gonna be using guy number three, all right? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove, we're gonna start from the top. I like to start from the top. If you're the guy that thinks that that's the only way is your way, you're in the wrong channel. Every, every way is, val is valid in here, you know what I mean? Your way is not the only way. There's many different ways to do things. All right. Right now we're removing with the mythic. We're removing all the all, all the with guard number three. We're removing the bulking. All right. We're removing the side, the bulking the side. That's what we're doing. All right. That's the first step. Pass a couple of times. Don't be afraid to just pass it one time only. Pass it a couple of times. The more you pass it, the more it's gonna show up. The more it's gonna, you're gonna be able to see it, all right? Check it out, all right? And if you see a dark spot, pass it right there too. All right, next step that I'm gonna do, or next machine that I'm gonna use, is the Gamma Ergo. When you wanna do a light, when you want to do a fade and you want to have the best flexibility, yes, I could do it with the Mythic, all right? Don't get me wrong. I could do the fade with the, with the Mythic. But why you want to use a heavy clipper when this one has the same engine and it's lighter and it has better ergonomic to give you the flick that you need? That's one thing that you got to always keep in mind. Always work smarter, no harder. And it's not about the clipper. It's who is using the clipper. He, the barber is supposed to know what works better and work much faster and comfortable. All right? So now we're going to put the first guideline around there. All right? If you notice, I'm not using the trimmer. All right? Simple. Because right now he got a lot of hair. Right, and if you put a trimmer, maybe now you can with an instinct with a saver, even the ergos. But the thing is, you don't need to put a, a, a big freaking line and all perfect. Why eventually it's gonna, it's gonna go uh, fade in. Now we're gonna go with guard number one, level close, all right, and that's gonna be our third step. That's the third step, all right. Remember, we start first step was with the guard number three. Second step, level close, no guard. All right. And third, passing number one, level close. All right. So we got three, zero, one. All right. 
and we're gonna pass it a couple of times just to make sure that that level is even, right? Now what I normally like to do, I don't like to keep playing with clip with guards or using too many guards. With the same guard, the only thing that I'm gonna do different is just open the level and we're gonna tackle that guideline that it was made with the one, all right? Notice that the movement is gonna be like this, all right? The thing is that I'm doing it a lot quicker so it doesn't seem like I'm doing a C motion, but basically I'm doing like a C motion, all right? I'm not gonna try to keep pushing it in because if I keep pushing it in, it's gonna go higher. So now, the last guard that I'm gonna be using is guard number two. Guard number two, and I open it maybe halfway, maybe close it just a little bit, not completely. And we're gonna stay right there with the, the line that we did with the one and a half, all right? And the motion is gonna be the C motion. The bigger the guard, remember this, the bigger the guard, the bigger the motion, all right? The bigger the flick, all right? And always, always, if, you, if you're not sure, always pass it little by little, and you know, that way you could always take letter more. But if you take too much from the get-go, there's no, no way around to fix it, you know? So always take little by little. Okay, so now I'm still passing two, level two, guard number two. The level open one click. I'm gonna click it completely down, so that's now two completely. Not only you're gonna hear it, the, the hair getting cut, but you're gonna see it. Also, pay attention to the mirrors. A lot, a lot of you guys don't like to pay attention to the mirror. The mirror doesn't lie. The mirror is gonna let you know where you see right now, look, I'm watching at the mirror and the mirror is letting me know there's something there. So now I go back with the one and a half level open. For those who don't know level, this is the level. And this is open, this is closed. But in between there's one, two, three, four, five clicks. Each click is like putting a guard. One click, two th clicks, th four clicks, five clicks, six clicks. So learn that. It's not just open it and close. No, each level represent a, a, a guard, all right? So level open, and we're gonna pass it right there. Also, I'm gonna repeat myself very often, so most of you, start, most of you guys could keep it in your mind until you guys get it, all right? What I mean is, pass it as much possible. Always look at the mirror. The bigger the guard, the bigger the flick. The smaller the guard, the smaller the stroke. You know what I mean? So right now, I, I click down two levels, so I make it tighter. So the, the motion, the up and down is gonna be tighter. All right, the, the motion is gonna be tighter. Now, I close it completely, that's one again. And I'm gonna maintain it right there. Also, if the hair goes in a certain way, go against it the same way that it comes down, you're gonna go up the same way that it's coming down. Now I go again, open it completely, and I'm gonna go this area right here, using the corner, mostly the corner. The corner attacks right away while you're trying to get. That's the way that you gotta see it, or at least put it, you perspect it in your mind. You know, the corners, use the corner to kinda use only to take a little bit out of it, right? And if you're not sure, right now I close the level and I'm gonna pass it right here because I see some dark spot, all right? Now, again, I see some dark spot here. I'm not gonna act like I don't see it. How do I know when I point it out? Simple, you see it, I see it. Simple, you have a mirror, but you're gonna, the mirror is gonna tell you, the mirror is the big tool. Most of you guys worry about the clipper and trimmer, not knowing that there's bigger tools that help you more than the clipper, all right? And the number one tool that help you the most is your wisdom and knowledge. What, when to open, how to, man, how, how to maneuver your clippers, how to change the guard, how to look the mirror, uh, how to use the brush. You know, there's other stuff more important than just the, the clipper. You guys get so caught up in, oh, what clipper should I get? Oh, it's not just the clipper. This is a whole scenario, see? Uh, uh, more than just a clipper. So now that I pass number two, now I'm gonna go with guard number one. 
and I'm going to pass it again. I'm going to use that little corner and I'm going to pass it in top of it or where I see the shadow. How come I'm going from two to one and a half? We're going lower. Notice the movement. I'm going to repeat it myself. The, the smaller the, the guard, the smaller the stroke. What I mean is this. If you use a small guard, this is the movement. But if you put like a guard number three or four, the C motion is bigger. All right. So right there is number one. And I'm getting it more close. I'm getting it more detail. Open. And I'm just going to use that corner. All right. Keep going right there. Erasing that right there. All right. Taking the little, little things at a time. Now open it again. And right here, the mirror is telling me they still see a shadow. I'm not in a rush to be the fastest barber. I don't care about the, being the faster. I, I, I want to make sure that my hair, the haircut that I do to my client comes out so good that people cannot stop watching the haircut being like, Danny, that barber is really good. He did a, a real good job. Quality brings quantity, but quantity doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to bring quality. Nah. Now, when you take time, that most of the time required, that's going to be quality. You're spending the quality to put every effort a little bit more time into it. By the way, I'm using guard number two, level close, and I'm passing it right there. So like I said, most of the time it's going to require for you to spend a little bit more time than the fastest barber. Ah, oh, but Jeffrey, being like that so slow and taking too long, you're not going to make money like that. Told you, who told you that? Who told you you're not going to be making money like that? Whoever told you that is guiding you in the wrong direction. Because I could tell you, once my haircut, I put the effort and the time, I could charge with my mouth, uh, my worth, whatever I'm worth, whatever the time that I, that I put in and, and, the, and, and the, the quality, the tools that I invest, the time and how you keep coming. How you you gonna know that you could charge everything when that client keep coming and coming and coming to get a haircut over and over and over again? All right, that's that's what's called supply on demand. When you are supplied on demand, that needs to you you always want it by the people, by your client, and they come over and over again to cut your hair. They wanna cut your hair with you. That that's what it means. All right. So be the client, be the barber the clients need. Don't be the barber that needs client. That's different. You don't want to be like searching for client. Nah. I'm not saying that it's nothing wrong with that. But be so good at what you do. Cut really good hair. Like do quality work. Don't be trying to be the fastest. Trying to be the most detailed. The most quality detail on your work. When you, you put that detail. When you put that effort. You don't have to worry about looking for clients. Clients, they're going to look for you. Yeah, uh, 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 my boy, such and such, he get a haircut with you. I saw his haircut. It looks really good. I wanted to see if you could cut my hair. Why? Because the haircut speaks for itself. Not just the client that you just cut, but the, the, the client, I mean the haircut that you did. If you did a, uh, awesome, you took your time and you perfected every single little detail, the fade, the way you pass, uh, you do the shape up, everything is going to show up in your hair and, and, the, and the haircut that you did to that client. Right now, by the way, I'm using no guard, level close, and I'm going lower. Now, if you notice, I didn't use the trimmer to do no line, right? And the reason why I like to do that is because for many years, for 5, 10 years out of my 25 years being cutting, that I've been cutting hair, I noticed that my fade compared doing it this way to like how normally you guys like to do, it didn't look or it didn't look right. All right, it didn't look right. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use what you guys do for first. I'm gonna leave it for last, and that's uh, and 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 that's my last step using the trimmer. You guys like to do most of you newbie barbers or most of you barbers that still. If that's the way you feel comfortable and you feel that that's the right way, keep doing it that way. I'm just, I'm just letting you know what works for me and what I think the fades come out more blurry, more fade in, 
and you don't have to struggle by spending hours doing a line that is gonna get fading. And then the time that you spend on that line, trying to erase that line, that is gonna show up later on. People that are be able to tell where he started the line. See, with my face, you cannot tell where I passed the line because I didn't print the line like that. You know, most of you guys like to print the line and do a, such a perfect line that it's gonna get erased. And on top of it, it's gonna, it's gonna, that line is gonna muscle remain. When you look at from far away, you're gonna be able to determine where exactly you did the line. So the best way I think, I, the, my way that I keep like doing it, if you don't want like it, if you don't got the skill set, if you don't wanna do it because you're comfortable doing it your way, by any means, boo boo, keep doing it your way, all right? But I'm just explaining how I think it works for me. Remember to always use the brush, this little brush, to clean up the client's face so he's comfortable. He's not easy, so he's not moving, all right? Now we're gonna use the Uno, and I like to pass it wide. It has one foil. I like to repeat myself because there's new subscriber in this channel. If you are new, welcome to this channel. So I'm gonna repeat myself every time. For those that don't know yet, this is the Uno. Every tool, there's a purpose. I'm, I'm explaining it real quick. Watch this. You ready? There's a sample. There's three different shavers. But these three different shavers have three different purposes, all right? I'm gonna show you one. Number one, the Uno, it has one foil and it's little and it's for areas that are uncomfortable to do. Whether it be that or right here in the mustache or right behind the lines, that's what it's for. Can this one does it? Yes, but it has two foil. Most of you guys like to do it like that right away. When you do it like that, that th those two foil, especially that one is gonna touch right here and it's gonna jeopardize your fate. All right, and then this one is to me the most smooth on the skin, right? And it also is a big head, but what I like about this one compared to this one and this one, in the middle has a blade, so this time when you, sometimes you pass the trimmer in a rush and you left like one hair, with this one, you don't have to worry because it will pick that little hair that you left up, so you don't have to go back and forth. So different tools, for different purpose but the barber have to know which one is what if you buy these tools that doesn't mean you're gonna be the best barber the best barber have to know when to use it and how to use it all right so now now that that is clear out of the way we understand that this one with the one foil is for area that are uncomfortable behind the ear and notice I don't go too high I just stay really low Right here, could I use this one? Of course, but it's gonna take me more time. So that's when the other tool, if you want it, now you could use the tool like that upside down and it will speed up the whole process. You see what I'm saying? You'll be able to see everything that you're cleaning and how you, you know what I mean? You'll be able to fast, real fast. Now, can I use it to do here if I don't get the Uno? Yes, you can. But instead of doing it like that, flip it around. What happened when you flip it? When you flip it, if you're using it like that, you see you, these two foils are touching. But when you flip it, you're only using one foil. You see what I'm saying? You're only using one foil. And then use the corner, and now you'll be able to do that nice around behind the ear. That is if you don't have the Gamma Uno. That is if you don't want to spend more money on a machine. Can you do it with one machine? Yes, you can. All right? So now, you already see that I did that on that side. Let's go to the back. As you can see, right? Now, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use the mythic. Why? He has a lot of hair. It's too much bulk. So we're going to do exactly what we did before. We're going to use guard number three. One thing, too, you guys got to notice about me. I have a barber jacket. This, most of you guys don't use it because you guys want to show up, you clothes and whatnot. But sometimes, one, 
If you don't use it, the real nice money that you spend on your clothes is going to get damaged by hair. Then you're going to put it in the laundry and you're going to fill the hair, uh, that shirt with all the clothes with hair. Me, I don't have that problem because this is a repel, hair repellent, right? And water repellent and whatever. That's one. Two, when you're in a barbershop, people are going to be able to distinguish who is the barber, all right? When they come in, automatically the guy with the smock with the barber is the barber. If you like just sitting down and you don't got a barber smock, they're gonna go, you're gonna lose the opportunity. And three, but the most important, you wanna be faster, you wanna be recognized as a barber, you wanna save your clothes, wear a smock, a smock. But the third one, I wear guard number two and three on my right side. Guard number one and 116, on my Jose, welcome to my channel. Jose, Jose, say where can I get one of those jets? Any beauty supply, Jose, Jose. So now that I have those guards, right? And notice, I don't got like seven guards in one side and another seven in another. No, no. To a fail, you, the most that you're going to need is three guards. One, two, three, the most. All right? You don't need to use too many guards. All right? But three, two, and one side, one and one sixteen in my left side. So when I pull my hand easily, I, I know that the big one that it fills, that's three. Switch it, that's two. And what that got to do with anything? It got to do a lot. Let's say that I have all those clippers there, and I'm cutting hair right here, and I need a guard. I have to stop what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, number one. Boom. That right there took like four seconds. But then you stop with this one, you got to go back. Oh, I got to look for four. That takes time. Now, when I put those guards, when I put those guards, when I put those guards in my pocket, look at how much easier. I don't have to go over there back and forth. You want to be the fastest? Learn te different technique. Learn wisdom. Pay attention to your movement. Pay attention to your workflow. You know what I mean? Like right now, I'm using three. Watch this. Oh, I need guard number two. I take it off. It's in my hand. Get the two. Keep it rolling. I don't even spend one second. And that's how you become faster in the movement of getting. You don't spend time. Because four seconds here that you spend getting a guard, going back and forth to the, the counter, you're gonna, it's going to add up. It's going to add up. So you want to be working smarter, not harder. You understand what I'm saying? Look, right now, need three. That's two. I don't need to go to my pot. I don't need to go over there. I don't need to go back and forth. That's, that's even tiring. Just watching that, that's tiring. Look, I'm using gun number three, level, boom. Level three. All right. I need the two again. Jeffrey, can you fail with that? With the mythic, how's the mythic? The myth is good, but you know why I use the mythic? This big machine, heavy machine, to debug. I don't use it to fade. Because if you do it this within even one haircut, it's gonna make you hard, it's gonna make you fatigue, it's gonna make you you hard, I mean you hand tired after a while. So that's why you grab different machine for different different stuff. To debug, to do fade. Right? And then if worst case scenario, this one broke, I could still debunk with this one or vice versa. God bless you. So now, back what I was saying. Now, notice, I'm not gonna use no trimmer. I don't go with that law. The law that I go, work smarter, not harder. You want the line to get fit in real easy? Don't do the trimmer right away. Leave it for last. Leave it for last. And, and you're gonna thank me later. Now we're gonna go guard number two, I mean one, level close, right? And we're gonna go, we're gonna do the next level. Remember, I passed three, two, uh, no guards, and now I'm passing number one, level close. Now watch this. Open the level, and the line that he made with the one, we're gonna take it out with the one and a half. Real quick, there's no need to play with guard number two, passing three, that's wasting time. Don't play with the guards. You don't need too many guards to do a nice fade. I'm using, the most that I'm using for this fade is guard three, two, and one, all right? 
I close the level and I go a little lower, all right? And I maintain lower right there. Always pay attention to the mirror. In this world, there's three things that never lie. Men lie, women lie, but numbers don't lie. God is a, it's not a human that he should lie. And the last one that don't lie is the mirror. The mirror is, is to tell you where it sees the line. But the mirror is not going to take it out for you. The mirror is going to tell the eye, this is where I see the problem. And then the eye is going to tell the brain, okay, I need a solution. And then once it finds the solution, the brain is going to tell, tell you conscience, which is the right guidance to tell, okay, if you're obedient and if you believe, it's going to tell what the brain already told to the conscience, which is, okay, close the level. My little voice telling me, close the level, keep passing it. Look at the mirror to make sure that it, it guides you to where to pass it. All right, it's not grabbing. You're passing it already a couple of times. Brush it, make sure, make sure the hair is not tight. That's what it's telling me in my brain. You understand what I'm saying? So now, the 116 is telling me my brain is like, now the one is not grabbing, go with the 116 level close. Okay, level close, 116, pass it right there. Do the, the C motion, the C motion, the smaller the guard, the smaller the motion, the bigger the guard, the bigger the motion. Right? Right? Are you guys following me? Right. So, like I say, this is a live streaming. This is not your typical 15-minute edit. I know people, they used to do that 15 minutes video or 7-minute video edit it. But guess what? That's, to me, that's microwave, microwave tutorials. You guys want, like, a real quick microwave, put it in the microwave, hit three minutes, and the food is done? Nah, you want the real good meal, a real good meal that is going to satisfy you, that is going to taste good. Sometimes you got to prepare it. Sometimes it's going to take uh, even 30, 45 minutes. But when you eat that food, that food is going to taste way better than a microwave, microwave uh, meal, right? Pull back right there, right? So now we're going to close the level. I'm looking at the mirror. I'm still letting my mirror, the mirror letting me know where I see the, the defect. Again, the mirror is a big tool, but most of you guys don't like to uh, look at the mirror. Why? Because you, got, you are afraid that you're gonna catch the client, uh, the client is gonna catch you looking at the mirror. Sometimes a client think by catching in you that you look at the mirror, that you don't know what you're doing, not knowing that it's a tool to help you know where is the, where is the problem in, uh, in order to solve it. Again, the mirror is, a, is only to tell you where is the problem. The mirror is going to let you know where you have a booger, but the mirror is not going to take the booger for you. The mirror is going to let know the eyes, hey, you got a booger in your nose. And then your conscious is going to tell you, hello, uh, the mirror just show you where it is the booger. What you need to do is get a napkin and take it out of your nose. But it takes for you to believe it and to obey and put it into action. If you don't do that, you're going to remain with the booger in your nose. So same thing. If you don't see, if you deny what the mirror is telling you about the haircut, you're going to remain, or you're going to remember, you're going to remain with the, with the same problem. All right. So again, what I live for last, what you, most of you guys like to do first, doing the, the line. I don't like to do lines. And if I do lines, I, right away, I erase them. And it don't take me so much to erase them. Why? Because I didn't spend two, three minutes doing a perfect line. Most of you guys going like this, doing a perfect and then debulking. Leave that. What is easy? Leave it for last. Try it. Give it a try. I know it seems difficult, but just like you didn't know how to cut or do the first step and you learn a little bit, you will learn even what is difficult too. But don't expect different results if you keep doing the same thing. In order to break from that cycle, you gotta do. You gotta be. be you gotta have courage. You gotta believe. You gotta. You gotta in, find it in yourself that you're gonna try to do it, even if you come short to the glory of doing what you're doing. So right now, it looks dark in that area, right? After you clean all everything, some of the stuff up top is gonna is gonna show up more. All right. So what I like to do is, I don't act like I don't see it. I'm watching at the mirror, right? And it's telling me that right there, it's kind of dark. So I'm gonna, my, my eyes, the mirror tells the eyes, 
Okay, I see the shadow there. Then the brain is, is going gonna, is gonna to start uh, brainstorming, saying, okay, in order to pass it there, we passed number three before, but a three didn't grab it now. So the next solution that is going to work is guard number two. Try it with the guard number two. So all the information is, is generated in the conscious, but it takes a believer. It takes someone to obey. If you don't believe and if you don't obey, you're not going to do and you're going to you, and you're going to continue whatever you think is is best for you. Right. And, and sometimes that that is not. We think that everything that we do, we think that in our way, everything seems to be right in our own eyes. But the ones that obey and believe and put it into practice are the ones that are going to achieve to solve every problems, to solve every encounter problem, whether it be in a haircut, whether it be learning some new technique. Boom. All right. Now we're going to use... Like I said, different shaver. I already used the Uno. I already used the FX3. I'm using the Andy Reshore. Find me another channel that does live streaming with different tools, different machine that, that it shows you and explain you step by step, not editing out things that you think that may not, may not make sense or there's no need to, but guess what? The one that remains in this, in this live streaming and doesn't go, that's the one that is pay attention each and every step. But the one that leave, that doesn't have patience. And because he doesn't have patience, he gotta go see something else or less value and not pay attention to the steps, all right? Now, we're going to the other side, same thing. Now watch, can I do, again, I'm using different machines, different machines, the Bithic, this one, all right? Can I debug? I use, once again, I use the mythic to debug, to take out big amount of hair. That's what debug means. But also, the gamma, the ergo could do it. Not as well as this machine. So that's why you got to know which machine for what to use and, and what order. All right? So I'm going to use, again, the mythic. All right? And the eight that remain here out of the 11, you guys are more smarter than the one that the other people that left. All right. So check it out. Three guard three level close. And I'm going to I'm going to debug. Look, this one, it don't even nag or anything. It just automatically grab the hair with no hesitation, with no problem. Right. Look. And then also. You see that clients like to drop the head and move the head and, and keep away from you. And you cannot work like that. You need, like, you need to be close to, to it for whatever reason you feel comfortable. Make sure you pull them. Make sure be like, yo, don't put your head down. Or, or if they're falling asleep, wake them up. I know you're afraid. You don't want to tell them, but you don't want to work in comfortable. Work smarter, no harder. With everything. All right? So right there, I'm passing number three, guard number three. I'm debulking first, all right? Passing it. How many times? Whatever time I go from right to left. And I go, that's, instead of me spending it with the trimmer, nah, I go up at top. Most of you guys work in the foundation in the bottom, but the foundation also could be at top. You understand what I'm saying? Ah, oh, Jeffrey, you talk too much. Guess what? Because I got so much jewel and knowledge. How will you learn when you go to school and, and you see a teacher? Do, do the, the, when the teacher t teach you something, does he stay quiet? No. He talk for a while and explain everything. So the same scenario. The reason why I like to vent out or talk a lot is because I got a lot of, a lot of jewels, a lot of information, a lot of trick. How so? I've been cutting for 25 years. Maybe I have one or two things that maybe you didn't know. Just like you probably have some few things that you could tell me too. But anyway, here and there, now you know. So still, I'm looking at the mirror and I see that that part right there, you see it. It's dark, right? Again, don't act like you see it and find the solution. You, I see it and it's going to tell you, keep passing it. Wow, right now it's looking much better. All right, keep moving to the back. Keep moving right there. See? And you find it little by little. Now, 
again i'm gonna go back to my normal tool because it's not that heavy so i i don't it don't hurt my 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 hand holding it too much and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back with the guard number two and we're gonna pass it around there put the level make sure you put the click while i like to you these guards are called the speed zero guy simple why i like it. there's three things that i like they're the they're very durable one three they have more teeth and they're more pointy and they're more compressed but stick to the real two is a two three is a three and last but not least it has a metal clip that hangs really nice and tight where it's supposed to be so it gives you the security so that's why i like these guards all right so that's guard number two level close that's level and we're gonna pass it right there boom all right notice that with this one I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to see a line but that's perfect what i want i don't want a line but you're gonna be able to see a shadow so i'm gonna open it maybe a little bit more but right away i'm not gonna play with the shadow or with the line and i'm gonna go right on top of that shadow i'm gonna go right there oh yeah i'm not gonna go i'm gonna go from left to right little by little all right it's not grabbing then i close it another click another another click means another level all right you can see if you don't see that it's grabbing another way that you'll be able to determine if it's cutting here look my client is moving to the side and it's pulling me the client it was going like this so i i, I was going like this all right and then and then what, what you got to do is you got to make sure you put them back. You put them back so you could work. You post, so you posture it. So you straight. So when you're working, you're working with a good posture. You understand what I'm saying? And always, you see how I'm putting the ear down? That will not bother the client when I pass the machine. Every little thing that you do that is super to help com to be comfortable for the client they have a better comfortable experience it's a chance to him that he's going to pay you better and he's going to have a comfortable experience when someone have a comfortable experience trust me they pay better they feel better and they pay better then you're going to be able to charge whatever amount that you want to charge obviously no going overboard and going crazy right so now again i go back to the basic i'm going to go now with the trimmer I'm going to go with the ergo, level close, and I'm going to make that line, and I don't care if it's even, if I did it perfectly or whatnot, guess what? Right there, you see it? Watch this. 116, level close, watch, watch what happened now. I'm taking it right away. I don't play. Now, I open the level, and I, and I erase the one that it did right there, right away. So why I spend some time doing a freaking line that is going to get uh, fade in? Why? That's wasting time. All right? Now, you want to keep doing that because that to you feels that it's even and that's the way that they teach you and you feel comfortable already. By any means, keep doing it the way you feel. I'm just saying what works for me and what is uh, speed up the process and, and why my face come out a lot better than, than that. For me, when I did it for five years in my beginning of my 25 years cutting hair, I did it like that and it didn't work for me. My face, they didn't look that good. Now I'm going with the one, six, with the one level open and if you see it, I see it. So now I'm going from right, right? And we're gonna go all the way to the, from left to right, all right? Notice, I see it. If you see it, I see it. How? I'm watching at the mirror. See? The mirror is my guidance. Now I'm closing it two clicks. So now it's one and basically level close to, to half. The level, this is the level. See this? One click, two click, three click, four click, five click. I put it right in the middle. That's what I mean. And now I'm going to pass it right there. And notice the movement. It, the up and down is right there. It's not, it's not big. No, I stay right there. All right? And if I'm not think that I'm getting it right, I move from the other side and, diff and look at it from different angles. 
You understand what I'm saying? I'm supposed to, where the camera is, look, I'm supposed to be right here. This is how, how I cut really good. But if I stand there, you guys are not going to be able to see it. So now for me making videos, it makes it a little hard for me because I have to, I have to move aside. Normally I'm supposed to be cutting like that, right? This is the, the right way for me to be cutting. But because I want you to guys see what I'm doing, I have to step out. Now it's making tension on my shoulders because I'm trying to make sure that you guys see it. You understand what I'm saying? So it makes it a little difficult for me to even, and it takes me more than usual, one, to do the fade because I'm, this is not my position. Again, my position is here. This is my position. But if I stay there, you guys not gonna be able to see it. I want you to get that. Jeffrey, how come you take uh, a little bit to do the fade? Well, I'm talking, I'm explaining, and when you explain, right now, guard number two, level close, I'm gonna post that right there. When you're talking and you're explaining and you and you doing it, I'm stepping out of the way and trying to do it on a different position that normally I don't do, it's gonna take me a little bit longer. I'm checking the cameras, make sure that every angle is, is make sure that it's recording, the battery is on, the, 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 the camera's in focus, that what I'm explaining is still with the subject. So of course I'm gonna take a little than usual. It's not easy, it may look easy, but it ain't, all right? Cutting hair for me is easy, but to do through two, three things at the same time, it makes it a little bit more complicated and it takes me more time. All right, so 116, level open, and we're gonna pass it around right there. And I'm gonna go from right, right? Little by little, note the, the movement, the up and down, you stay right there right there if you go higher you got to be careful because you're going to take you could take more than what you're supposed to and then later on you cannot you cannot put it on then you're going to have to reset and do the whole haircut or the whole fade you have to do it again now i close it one click you heard that click how is another way that you could tell besides looking at if he's grabbing it well if you have a silent machine like the Ergos that are really, really quiet, not like the Instinct, not like the Master, they like super loud clippers, with a quiet clipper, you'll be able to hear the, the magical sound of the, of the hair getting cut, like the crown sound, like ch -ch 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 -ch. That means that it's still cutting hair, all right? That's another guidance. Notice, even though, if I was not recording or explaining, I could already, my son could tell you, I could already probably finish this long time ago, all right? But because I'm explaining, because I'm watching at the camera, because I'm, I'm working out of my normal uh, position where I, I like to record, I like to cut hair, it's gonna take me what it's taking me, okay? All right, so now notice, the fade is coming little by little. Now we're gonna go with no guards, and we're gonna go right there, maintain. Notice that I don't go higher. I stay the no guard, even like that. With bigger guard, this motion, big. The up and down, bigger. But because he don't got no guard, I stay right there. The movement is right there. You understand what I'm saying? Now, now I close completely the level, all right? And then and here and there, I open the level, and I'll, sometimes I use the corner. Learn to use the corner. Learn to use also to bend it, not to use it completely flat all the time. Sometimes you could just use the corner for your advantage. And now, now I use what you guys like to do first, doing the line and <laughs> Nah, that's what I do for last, but I don't even print the line. Again, that's the way that you feel comfortable. That's the way that they teach you. By any means, boo-boo, keep doing it that way. Keep doing your way. Every way is valid, but there's going to be some other ways that are much easier. And the haircut and the fade, you're going to see the result in your face. The fade and the work on the haircut or whatever you may do, whether it be a taper or blowout, the results are going to be much better. And sometimes you're going to work much faster and the fade is going to become more blurrier. All right? Don't forget to always wipe up the client. You want the client to be... Nice and clean. It's not, it's, if there's something very noisy, it's when a barber cut my hair and I got hair in my face all cut 
and, and I'm trying to wipe it off, that's annoying. That's annoying. Make sure you wipe it up. All right? Now we're going to go again. Like I say, three different tools. Yes, they are the same, but different purpose. You could use this one for areas that are uncomfortable for behind the ear because it has one foil. Then you got this one that has two foil and it's bigger, but for areas that are more open, right? Can you use this one for the back? Yes. Don't do it like this. Flip it so that way you use one foil and use just one corner and you'll be able to do it just fine. And third, but not least, the end of is sure. It has two foil, but it has that blade. Sometimes we left, when we're doing it in a rush, we left, see, there's one little hair there and the trimmer didn't get it, that little blade in the middle comes handy and you don't have to, that's why, and this one, the way how it's built in, the really foil is really uh, allergic proof. You know what I mean? It's not gonna irritate you. It, I think it's the most smoother, but the same thing. I, I, I use it like that so I could use one foil and then when I go to that corner, I use just the little corner so that way I don't sacrifice using the whole freaking shape, shaver, electric shaver, all right? Everybody got different. Oh, Jeffrey, why you seem like you mad or pissed off? Nah, I'm passionate. And this is the way how I like to teach and always how I like to, or not teach, how I like to show how I do my work. I'm very passionate and my passion, maybe your perspective, it may show in a different way. If you, nobody's telling you to stay here, if you don't like it the way I teach, you could go to another channel that you feel comfortable and that's it. You don't have to, no one is telling you to stay here. All right, so now, now I'm gonna do the box out. Actually, let me put it in that one over there. And you're gonna see that he still got some of the hairs there. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab guard number two right level close and then what i'm gonna do lightly i'm gonna pass it from top to bottom and what that's gonna cause is gonna bring down some of the hair but leaving still some of the volume all right and when that happens all right when you do the box out those long hair they're not gonna cover the box out all right so you see what it's doing now, what I'm going to do also, I'm going to use this right here. It's called the Tresme set. What it is, you could use whatever, pump it up. There's different kind, but I like to use Tresme, so the extra hole. It will hold the hair in place. So whenever you're trying to do a crispy line, it maintains the hair stiff, all right? And then, if you don't got nothing to cover the eyes, use the bare hand and just throw a little bit right there, right? And then, if you have a blow dry, you don't have to put hot air with a little bit of cold air because the one that we're using is, is extra hole with a little bit of air is gonna dry it up real quick. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna blow dry until the hair is gonna get stiff. And now the hair, when you do the box out, I'm gonna show you. When you start the, doing the box out, I like to start right in the center. So now, I start right there in the center, all right? And then I, work, I, work, I wipe it up as I keep going. Now I'm gonna work on my way all the way over here. All right, check it out. All right, right there. And I'm gonna work my way to the side. Okay, to right there. And notice, I'm not gonna put the hair, I'm not gonna push the hair in. I'm just gonna leave it the most outside possible. Ah, oh, Jeffrey, my trimmer is more better than yours. It's more zero gap. My cut's more sharper than yours. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Make sure, keep doing you, boo-boo. Guess what? With the blade later on, I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna get him even more shape, more sharper. And when you probably use your zero gap uh, trimmer, you probably taking a chance that you're gonna probably 
make a red line or, or probably, you know, injure the climb. You don't want to injure the climb with a, with a trimmer that is freaking too sharp. All right? So now that I did that side, we're going to go to the other side. All right? And exactly where I left up, just because he, ha he has a collet right here. Just because he has a collet, I'm not going to go right there. Nah. I'm going to stay. I I'm going to know my boundaries. My boundaries right there. Right there. I don't go higher. I stay right there. And then again, wipe them off to see what I'm doing. And then I don't push the, the thing all the way back. Right? And I keep passing it a couple of times over and over just to make sure that I got everything all right and clean. Later on with the blade, I'm going to get it even more detailed. Then I do the C cup on this part right here. And voila. The box out is basically done in that segment, all right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fade in his, even though he's about to be, you're about to be 20, right? Yeah. My son is about to be 20, right? And even though his beard is still growing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a faded lightly beard. Even though people is like, what kind of beard? He don't got no beard. There's always someone that is going to criticize, always going to say some, have to say something. All right? So check it out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go with the two. I'm going to start with the two, debulking it. You're going to see the difference from seeing a harsh line to kind of fade it in. So I started with the two. Now I'm going to go with the one, level close, and I'm going to keep the movement small. The up and down, remember, the smaller the, the, the guard, the up and down, smaller. Now, no guards, level, up, uh, level open, level close is zero, level open is half or 0 0.5, whatever you call it. Then you close it maybe three clicks, right? And then as you go lower, then you start fitting in little by little. Now you look at the mirror and it's showing me that it's still kind of dark there. So what I go, I go with a guard number three, right? Level close and I'm gonna pass it. Notice the movement is gonna be bigger, all right? Notice the movement, notice how many times I pass it, all right? Now it's not grabbing, I switch the guard. But I pass a couple of times. Now I go guard number two, level close, and I stick right there where I see the shadow until I see that it's starting to blend in little by little more. I still see a dark spot. It's not done yet. It's still cooking. I go with the one and a half. The movement is a lot smaller. The stroke, the up and down, is a lot smaller. Close it completely. That's guard number one. Now, it's not growing. Go with even no, le no guard using the corners, and now you're going to be able to see little by little. He don't like to bring this down because that's how he likes it, right? Do you want me to bring it down? Uh, I don't know. What does it look like down? It, we could bring it down. Will it give it more length? Yeah, and no more length, but it will make it look more even. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So just, I thought that he would have wanted to cut it down, uh, not cut it down. I was assuming. See, you cannot always assume. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use guard three. And right here, I'm going to light it up even a little bit more. Not a lot. And then this part right here with the three, I'm going to get it a little bit of volume down. Not a lot, but enough. Right? So the hair, see, right here. Thank you, Julio Cabrera. Now I'm passing number two, and I'm passing it right there. Now, I'm going to pass number one, level open, right? And little by little, look, I'm going to get now with the one level close, but I'm going to go from top to bottom. And what that's going to cause is going to maintain the darkness and then I'm barely touching it, but I'm using just the corner. All right? So that side is actually fading. Let's go to the other side again. My son is about to be 20 years old. 
Yes, it's missing some spot. If you're looking from far away, it looks dark and then empty and whatnot. So you gotta kinda, in order to blend in everything together, you gotta bring this down and then the volume from here. So how you gonna do it? Card number one, that's a level. Level close, it cuts more. Level open, it cuts less. Level close, that's one. You're gonna pass it, the movement, all right? The stroke, the up and down, that little. Open it, then you could go a little lower, and the movement is a little bit much bigger. And don't forget to brush. And don't forget to look at the mirror. The mirror will let you know how much longer you should go. Now, no guard, and right here I see a line. From far away you cannot see it, but from close, from where I am, you could see it. Now right here, there's still like a dark spot. The technique that I like to use is guard number one, and I use only the corner this time to just get that dark spot out of the way to kind of makes it a little bit much even. All right. Now he got this spot. Lift it up, Joshua. Now right here, this is a dark spot. That's why he grow the most hair. Now we're going to take that volume and we're going to kind of fit it in. How are we going to do that? We're going to use guard number three. All right. Level close. And I'm going to prick it from the bottom. All right. And I'm going to try to pick up the most that I can, but still make sure to leave the volume that he still, you know, you don't want to go too low. All right. And then you pass it right there. Right now, right now, you notice that I'm not going to use the trimmer to do a shape up. All right. But before I keep going any further, now we're going to lower the beard, uh, I mean the mustache. And how we're going to do that, we're going to use. Miguel Angel. Welcome to my channel. Miguel Angel. All right, so right now we're using guard number one, level close, and we're going to pass it from top to bottom. What that's going to do is just going to take out a little bit of volume and the long hair, but it's going to leave it, maintain it dark, right? And now, watch this. You ready? Now what we're going to do... Now what we're gonna do, you guys gonna see it up close. How out of, out of nothing, I make something. How is that possible, Jeff? Watch, lean back. Jeffrey, how come you always recline, you climb? Put yourself a little bit more down, right there. You comfortable? Yeah. All right, notice how I always ask him, are you comfortable? The reason why I lay down the climb is a few things. Even in the 18th centuries, when a barber when to shave or do something with the face of the client, they used to recline the client. Have you noticed that, that the barber chair does that? Why? So the client could have a more, be in a comfortable position. Not only for the client, but for the barber, I need to be comfortable to, wake my, to work my way around it. All right? So, watch this. Now, what I'm gonna do, at uh, the bottom, Actually, let me use, I was gonna use the other camera, but the camera that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the chest cam. I had six, seven different cameras. So I'm gonna use the, chest, the front camera so you could guys see it, third person view. All right, so you could see it more up close. So you're gonna be able to, when I'm shaving, you guys gonna be able to see it. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wipe the lens. Oh, Jeffrey, you using your phone? Yes, but I'm using a different software to record, all right? Now I'm, I'm going to put that software, and that software is going to allow me... All right, so... All right, so here we go. NDI is the software. I'm gonna turn it in. All right, let me turn it in again. Uh, NDI, there it is. No, nope, that's not the one. All right, that's the one. Now I'm gonna click it. So you guys, what I'm doing, that's the first step. Now I check out the, over there, yep. You see it in the screen. Now you're gonna see me scrolling 
and I'm gonna open an application. The application is called Film Proc. And now when I click it, you're gonna be able to see it. Now watch this. I'm gonna have it in my chest, right? And now I'm gonna try to be, I'm gonna lock my exposure, or better yet, leave it open the exposure, because it keeps switching. But what I don't want it to keep switching is when I'm shaving and doing the work, the focus. So right there, I'm gonna lock it in, and voila, all right? The most that I'm gonna use to do on this case, what, we, what I'm gonna do, notice, I'm brushing everything really outside, and what I'm using, I'm using the ergos, really quiet, they're really long, so for areas that are uncomfortable, that I can't even get with other trimmers, the ergos is really long and allow me to get in in that area. Boom. Now another area that I'm trying to get in, inside of his lip, right there. Another one, right here. All right? Then we go right here. And notice that I don't spend enough, I don't spend a lot of time, I don't spend a lot of time and then I move the client, move the neck over there, Joshua. I just, all I need is to clean up just a little bit. Why it's gonna make it more sharper and take care of that problem for me is gonna be the blade, right? All I want is just to be, boom, right? Now watch this. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use my shaving cream. Better yet, let me show it right here. The shaving cream that I'm using is called Bone Pro, all right? And what it says there, medicated. Find me a, a cream that is medicated. Why is medicated? It has olive oil. The olive oil, it protects the skin from irritation. And then it smells like menthol. Have you smell, have you, have you ever eat uh, winter fresh gum? Well, that's what it smell like, like winter fresh. And the, and the cream, and the cream is not thick. So it allows, it allows the, it allows the cream to, to, to dry it up, not, not quick, but maintain it nice and refreshing and cool. Not only that, but it allows the cream to, to, to dry it up uh, in a slow pace, all right? And it protects the skin from any irritation, especially when you're gonna pass the blade often. Joshua, what I need? Yeah. Welcome to my channel. Say I believe 245 has aloe in their shave gel, but I decay if that's for skin irritation prevention or not. Put you, put you, uh, put yourself down. A little bit more down. Yeah, that one could have aloe vera, but is it medicated? That's the question. All right, that's the question. Is it medicated? They could say that they have aloe vera, but is it medicated? All right. But anyway, you work with what you want or what you have or what works for you. I work, I work with what works for me, all right? So right now I'm about to use the blade and the blade of choice I'm using Wilkinson, all right? So now I'm gonna find, I'm gonna make sure that it's focusing, it's focused, that's the focus point. Let's go, always look. That thumb is going to stretch the skin. All right? You don't need to make pressure to the blade in order to shave. And you remember what I said? I don't need to, be, to have my trimmer zero gap to do crispy line. You know what make my crispy line? The blade. And most of you guys, for whatever reason, like to put the zero gap blade. And then you wonder why the clients have freaking irritation and they get caught up and, and and when you put the alcohol or the aftershave they feel like you know what i mean burning oh can you put some aftershave why because you put the 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 trimmer too much zero gap all right turn it to the side joshua all right notice i didn't use the trimmer to do the, the beer to shape it up because the hair is simple it was too short to do that with the trimmer. But why, how are we gonna make it stand out? With the blade. And you know what it is? 
Then I'm passing it a couple of times. Jeffrey, what's that ashes? For the people that don't know, because they, I'm sure there's people there here, they know. Well, there could be many factors. It could be dead skin, but also it could be the shaving cream that is drying up. And when you put a brand new blade, it, it show what the dust, all right? It show the, the ashes, all right? Some people, they, don't, they like to use pencil to do that. I don't know why, but hey, it is what it is. Whatever they float the boat. All right, now I'm gonna go right behind the ear, right? And now we're gonna do the eyebrows. And we're gonna leave them really outside, all right? Really outside. And then, same thing, notice my, my the, the finger. I keep them all the way out. All right. The blade, I keep it all the way out, and the finger always maintaining the skin nice and tight. When you keep the finger right there, it protects the skin from moving, from the blade moving, the skin moving with the blade. All right. So now we're going to go. Notice how I like to pass a couple of times just to make sure that every corner. You know what I mean? It's taking care. And it's sharp. All right? All right. Hello, hello, hello. And then, notice we're going to go to the other side. All right. Keep everything natural. Now we're gonna move it. Move it to the other side, Joshua. Right there. Now over here, we're gonna do the box out. We're gonna pass it again and blade there to shape it up. Pull. All right. And I still like to scrape the forehead because it got a lot of baby hair and dead skin. And when you do that, it makes it everything nice and clean. All right. Notice. This channel, este canal es americano. El canal mío hispano pronto estaré por allá. Este canal es el hispano. El canal hispano, yo estaré por allá pronto, pero este canal es americano. Now we're gonna go right here, and notice how I tell, how I said before, I don't use the trimmer because the trimmer will probably get it, but it would not get it as close as the blade, or make it look sharper as the blade. All right. And now I could go up around here. They got some, I could shave up. All right. Now the other way, I could move them to the side. Be behind the ear. All right. Now. Let me focus the camera right there. Put you, you neck all the way back. There we go. And then all right. Now we're gonna go to the other side. All right. We go to the other side, same thing. All right. Where we left out, we go right to the center, and then we're gonna take care to make sure that everything is, it keep going with the flow even, all right? Now we're gonna turn to the side again, Joshua. Turn to the side, and right here, 
Okay. Then we go right here again. And then the little hair that are standing right there. Boom. And then we're gonna go again. I'm gonna pass it one more time. All right. Now, the mustache. We're gonna do the mustache. Right now it's focusing. Go ahead, right there. We're gonna keep it really outside. All right. And then right here, there's some baby hairs. Even though you may not see it, I see it. Then we go move to the other side. Same thing, barely touching it, really natural, really outside. All right, now we're gonna go up. And of course, uh, the camera, it's, it got stuck. But anyway, let's go up. All right, so now, let me see with this. Uh, all right, let me put it on a wider blade. I know, right there. All right, now, I go behind the ear and I go one and over again. Then behind the ear, the little hairs. Then right here. All right. Now we're gonna go right here. I'm doing the details. All right. Go be on top of the eyebrows. Get a retouch. Go again, retouch the beard. All right. All right, I'm gonna take the cape. He has some hair be uh, where the cape, it was covering. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna do the final detail, make sure that some few things they're gonna grab my attention, like the fade, get a little bit more, whatever, I see some dark areas and get it right. Like right there, for example, right here. Okay. Get in more detail. I see something right here. It's still pulling my attention. One and a half. Using the corners. All right. All right. Now we're gonna go right here. And I'm gonna bend it right here, right? And I see some stuff that is pulling my attention here. Some hair that is darker than all the ones. I'm gonna try to match it up. I'm still using guard number one. One and a half, one. With the level open, that's one and a half. All right. Then I right there, close it, that's guard number one. Brush it. Then I'm gonna get the trimmer. And there's some hairs that is covering right here. All right. Now I'm gonna grab again. And we're gonna get the one and a half. And right here is where I see the dark spot, the hair, the dark spot, right? And right there. And then I close it again. That's card number, almost number one, not completely number one. Then I keep looking at the mirror to let me know what else I need to do, what it needs to be, more details. All right? Then I go to the camera. That one somehow is not working. 
but this one does. All right, check it out. Look at that fade. All right. Look at the fade. Look at, look at how everything. You see what I'm saying? Now, right here could be a little bit improved. So I'm just going to pass the number one and a half. And I'm going to get a little bit more faded. All right. Okay. Now we're going to move to the other side. Same thing. Got to make sure that every corner is fine. Right here, I see that it's a little bit dark. It could be improved. All right. If you see it, I see it. All right? If you see it, I see it. But every little thing that you put, every effort. Jeffrey, I already would have finished the haircut. Congratulations. I'm not in a rush. I'm trying to get quality and where I feel comfortable with the haircut when the client comes out, out of my chair, he's going to be well satisfied. All right? You, you keep doing it the way you, you think it works for you. If that works for you, congratulations. Keep doing you. In this channel, I don't look for people that are perfect or they know it all. I don't know it all. I always learn from other, other people too. But there's always people in this industry, the barbershop, you're going to know the minute that you learn a little bit, the ego is going to come out and you're going to try to think that you're better than the next man when it's not like that. All right? So now shape it up. Make sure that I get every little hair, all right? Behind the ear again. Get it nice and square, right there, okay? Boom, now check it out, the fade. See the fade? Nice and clean, all right? Look at the eyebrows, make sure the eyebrows Detail a little bit more. All right. Now, one thing that I always say is make sure, let me see. Then the freaking, this camera, I gotta use this one then. All right. So is this one it is. So what I'm gonna do, right there. And like I always say, make sure you always, 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 I don't care if you've been cutting his hair for 20 years or 25 years, always show the mirror. When you show the mirror, the mirror is the warranty. Oh, Jeffrey, I don't like to show. My clients know that I did a good job. That's what you think. Ah, but I don't like to show the mirror because then they turn real peaky. Then they'll be like, oh, right here. Oh, no, right there. Listen. He's the one that is paying. Oh, Jeffrey, what I like about this profession is that I'm my own boss. That's what you think. If you had 20 clients, you had 20 bosses. The people that pay you are your bosses. So if you don't show up to work, another barber is going to take care of it. Because the one, the boss they pay, is looking for a barber reliable. Not only reliable, they don't think that he knows it all. So if he sees something, because it's his hair... If he tells you, ah, oh, I still see something, we'll be like, okay, let me fix it. What you say, even, even if it's not true, grab the clipper and, and try to fix it, whatever it may be, all right? Now, another thing that you guys, like I always, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, all right? Watch this. Have you noticed, especially the aftershave lately, they're becoming now, now with a spray, all right? I get a napkin and I put the aftershave in the napkin, all right? Um, hopefully this will work, but let me see. If, if not, so you can see what I'm saying. There's a gun right now. It came out like two, three years ago. 
It's a, it's a gun with a laser, and you put that, right? But I'm going to show you what happened because I know my son. It's a gun, right? And he has a laser, and then you put the aftershave. But this is what happened, and this is the reaction you get when you do it with a gun. Go ahead. What happened? Uh -huh. Hold on. Say it loud again. Got all over the place. It all over the place. Does it burns like that? It feels cold? If it does feel cold. It's uncomfortable like that, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Now watch the way that I do it. Again. Well, that one fell in the floor. The napkin. So I'm not going to pick the one in the floor, obviously. But watch this. Pay attention to this. The battle. You put a little bit. I'm out. And then you probably have a compressor. You don't have a compressor? Do you have a blow dryer? Do you know the blow dryer throws hot air and cold air? All right. Normally, I like to use cold air because the cold air with a little bit of aftershave, when you pass it, the napkin is going to, if there's any hair stick, it's going to wipe it off. And on top of it, it has aftershave. And then when you put in combination with cold air, watch this. How that feels? Better. Say that again. Better. It feels better? Yeah. You're not saying it just because we're in a live streaming and because you're my son, right? No, nah, it's just, it's more calm. It's against the skin instead of just like splashing me randomly. You understand what I'm saying? So, believe me, if you do that to me as a barber and you're trying to show off because you got a laser gun with the, the latest technology, that would be the first and last time that you cut my hair because that's going to burn me. I'm going to feel uncomfortable, right? So if you want the client to be have the best experience, it's not having the latest technology. It's using it properly, and this is the proper way. And my friend, hold on, let me, that's, that's gonna be for the thumbnail, right there. All right, and then obviously when you take the cape, make sure, you, you know, you take it the right way. There you go. All right, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you like it, thumbs down. If you don't like me, thumbs down I'm down with that but guess what's gonna happen if you give thumbs down that's gonna show you too there is activity in my channel so if you wanna hate don't even do nothing that's how you hate better all right but in the meanwhile I'm giving you my jewels all right technique you try it and if it works do that to yourself tap yourself because it's you that did it it's not because of me and give thanks and praise to god i'm just a, a a vessel i'm just telling you how i do it and why i do it i'm not telling you do it that way just like i said about the napkin about the aftershave you guys may take ah you hating i'm not hating i'm just telling you me as a not just as a barber but as a client if i sit down and someone throw water or alcohol like that, I don't care how good it was the haircut. I, I'm very picky with that. But it's just, like I said, that's the way that I think. Everybody thinks differently, and that's your opinion. Another thing, another thing. With this, I'm going to close it out. Because I know I've been talking a lot, but I like to talk a lot. With a lot speaking, with a lot of talk, it's a lot of wisdom and knowledge. I know that there's barber out there better than me. But guess what? They're better than you too. And I'm sure that I'm better than some others. But guess what? Keep it humble. Because the one who keep it humble, God in due time will exalt them. 
and the one that thinks they know and he's exalted, God will humble you. So learn to be humble. All right? Know this. If you think that you could have done better, open your own channel or your own Instagram and do it yourself. In the meanwhile, you have entitled of your opinion. You think that you could do it better than me? Congrats. But if the client hates my haircut and he say, when I show the mirror and he say, I like it, and he come back over and over for more than 20 years, that's the only opinion that matters, not yours. Yours, it matters to you, but that doesn't have to be my reality. So for all the people there that have haters, because you got haters too, even the one that is hate me, have haters too. That goes to you. When you get your haters, the only opinion that matters is the client. If he likes it and pays you, that's the only opinion that matters. And if he doesn't like it, he could go to another barbershop. Ah, oh, but you're losing clients. So what? For one to leave, six and seven more clients, new one come. So why stress? I'm not stress. 